Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you the seven segment uh, display uh, tutorial uh, well I was going to be um, but unfortunately uh, when I did just record this I kind of forgot to um, hit record and so yeah um, but I'll try and run you through each um, uh, each little bit of this um, display um, so basically the concept is that on uh if you go on to smooth lighting I can turn that on and um you have a block uh, take this blue block and then you have that there from far away oh. Oh yeah, it's because I've got light on, isn't it? There you go. Let's make it day. From far away, it looks dark, and then when you, say, power one of the lines, it then goes light again, so that you can see it more prom prom I don't know how to say that. So you can see it more clearly than you can um, see the other one, so it looks like it's just displaying uh, that uh, cell or that those three cells. Um, so one thing you got to keep in mind while doing a piston uh, display is you don't want much or you don't want any real uh, crossing over of the powers onto different um, pistons so see here for this uh, bottom one I'm taking quite I'm taking it quite far out or far, further out than it needs to be just so it doesn't interfere or these don't interfere with it at all when you're powering uh, these ones here because if you had this forward then the uh, redstone torch here could affect these pistons here which then would make it display the wrong number um, for some reason up here um, when you uh, you know power this say if you power this side it's sometime if you do it um, like I did down there, it will sometimes power um, this piston here because pistons have the ability to be powered just by a block being powered um, like you can see here because this block is powered it allows this piston to be powered um, so you get around this by uh, doing this little method here of placing this um, torch on here getting rid of this block underneath so that it's not powering anything um, directly in contact with that piston and the same on this side so that you're keeping those as far away as possible and um, the middle ones I did the same all the way up and so they're just powering like that and then to get them into your seven segments simply just use a vertical wiring or yeah just use vertical wiring just to power the different sets of pistons um, so that they push them forward when you power the different lines so this one here is pushed forward right now okay right so once you've got your seven segment display um, built uh, I've it's gonna I'd, if, you, if it's your first time doing it um, I would recommend uh, make sure you're testing it fully before you move on because sometimes you can come across a few uh, glitches with the pistons, well not really glitches but uh, bugs with your 7 second display like I said before where uh, a, a piston could be powered when you don't want it to be so you need to make sure that you've moved all your wiring around so it's only powering the things that you want it to okay so in the end you should end up with seven lines of um, wires so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven all going up to the different um, sets of pistons now with these seven lines you can display any number uh, you want so now now what we need to do is change this signal coming from the counter and change it into uh, the number that we want to be displayed so here it's very simple um, you simply just create this shape here 
this. Like that. And then this will mean that you can ooh this will mean that this block here is uh, powered and then you can just take these out a bit so that they're like that and then you can just join these up and so now we're going to uh, program these all up just so that we can power the different segments depending on which number we are representing. Doesn't don't worry about that, it doesn't affect it at all even if it's that close. Okay. So we're just gonna build these out as well. And these Okay, right, so now we just want to cover these in redstone wire. This will, um, we're going to place torches on the side of these, so this redstone wire will uh, stop the torches from shining or from uh, turning on um, whenever that, until that number is selected, as you can see here zero is selected or zero is being counted um, so it will uh, well, it will not um, it will allow the torches to shine allow the torches to turn on when it's not being counted the torches will be off okay so now what we have to work out is which lines we want to power for the different numbers so we want to power all the, for zero we want to power all the lines apart from this middle one so we need to remember that this is the middle line here. So we want to power everything but this. So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So now if we go fly around and look at it. Ah. You see you've got to remember to check whether your signals reach. So I'm just gonna place a line of repeaters here. just to make it look more uniform just like that and now if we go around the front we can see that the number zero is represented okay so now what we're going to do here I'm just going to take that away so it adds a count on and put it back so now what we're looking for is the number one so we want to display the uh, right side here for number one so these two here are for number one. So it's going to be this line here and then misalign and then it's that line there. So there and there. And then that should display number one. Just like that. Yep. And then we're going to add another count. like so, so this is going to be number two. Now for number two you've got to remember your orientation so we want ah, I know why we had the uh, reset line on sorry take that around take that around okay so now this is going to be number two so number two, we want to display a five this side. So we're going to want this top one, this top one, this side one here, the middle one, uh, this side here, and then the bottom one. So then that should display a number two. There you go, number two. Now if we uh, add another count, so just like that. So it's gone on one. Now we need to do number three. So we need to do number three backwards 
um, if we look at it from here because when we look at it it will be the correct way around so we want the top one then we want the side one here the middle one the uh, bottom one here and then this middle one here so all of them apart from the two on the left side which displays number three that's good and then we're on to our last number now which is number four so number four we want it we want to have what we have for number one so it's those two for number one then we want the um, middle one and this one here so this one here is that one and the middle one here is that one so now when we look at it number four perfect so we're just going to go through and test our system and we can do this by going so that's zero then we can go on the reset line just so now it's resetting through the numbers oh no because they're on zero so we need to add another count so now it's going to be one then it's going to go to number two number three number four then back to zero Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys understand without me um, making it with you. Um, I hope to see you next time. Bye.